on the street with a review of the ASICS uh, Gel Nimbus 26. ASICS is not what it used to be anymore. It's very different. It looks like it's trying to be more Hoka or other kind of brands than uh, what it used to be. Uh, trying to keep up with the times, but it looks like it's losing its identity as well. First of all, for a size 9, it weighs about 290 grams. It's pretty lightweight for a, a beefy midsole. Uh, it feels even lighter than what the show upper materials are knit, breathable, nice, and some reinforcements and where you need it. And I like the fact that you don't have to, you know, pull this to slide your foot in because there is padding and some structure inside with a slightly separated tongue so you can just slide your foot in. The insole is really good. It's very beefy, dense, orsolite type. It actually enhances the cushioning quite a bit. And the midsole, they call it the... Uh, FF Blast uh, and the first few models that used it, it it kind of did not have a proper outsole so this it's good to see uh, a very decent thick outsole covering most parts of the shoe. So yeah mm, it fits true to size uh, if I would say if you like a tight fit you should go down half the size. Um, the FF Blast and they have a pure gel in there. It's a good change because ASICS previous models, they show all this colorful gel on the outside, but there's very little of it on the inside. Um, as compared to other shoes that's this foamy, does the gel make it pop or make it feel extremely different? Not really. Uh, maybe a little bit more bouncy, but barely, you can barely tell the difference. Yeah. Um, so the issue, the price point don't seem to go down there. Don't they're hardly ever on sale? It's very different from the previous A6 models, where about half a season through they would go for like a fifty percent discount. But these days A6 they jack up the price and they don't go on discounts. And the funny thing is, this is only a slightly more performance-driven kind of feeling Hoka type of cushioning. Uh, you can get that something as as bouncy and soft as this if not better than this, at a very cheap price, Adidas Maxitis, Maxcatus, I don't know how it's pronounced, that shoe sells for like $50 or under that price, always on sale, and the midsole, Adidas don't even know what they use, but it's so good, as good as this shoe. So why the hell would I pay $200 for this?